I used a couple of scrapers here. I used a hat. Great respirator right here. This respirator right here is the best. You cannot go wrong. 3M, the 6001 model. It's great. Wear eye protection when you're spraying that kind of product. Follow the instructions. I would use it one and three eighths ounce to a gallon of water, which you can mix. Go on down to this bucket. I just cleaned my loft. I disinfected with this sprayer. I got a small handheld sprayer for hard to reach places. I have a vacuum. I vacuum out my loft, all the small particles that are left behind. And let's see. Let's see how these guys are doing here. Now, I disinfected this side already. Pretty much the entire loft. Let's take a walk through. Uh, he talked about looking at lofts, and people's lofts, and seeing how clean they are, and so on. Now, to some guys, they have a lot of pigeons that let the droppings accumulate and get very deep. Um, what can I say? If that's what you want, you're going to run into problems. I don't care what anyone says about immune system uh, being built up on the pigeons by letting them uh, perch on their droppings. is nonsense. It's ludicrous. You should always clean your loft. Clean your loft. You have healthy birds and so on. Some of the birds. Clean your loft. Now I gotta clean the, the walls there. I gotta spray them. They've been uh, when you give them vitamins in the water, the droppings are so loose and watery sometimes. But I'm gonna show you my clean loft today. Now I just cleaned it a couple days ago, and again I'll clean it again. Keep my birds healthy and happy, and so on. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. They're happy. They're cooing. They're maidish. Pretty soon, uh, I'll be doing some selective breeding in here. I may, I may or may not. I may put some bowls in here and, and do the old, like B-Rod 681 says, the laboratory. Whatever mates up, let it mate up. Drop them eggs and raise them. Let me see what happens. But other than that, to that gentleman that called me today, this is what I do. I spray, spray the, the floors, the perches. I spray that stuff on it, let it dry. Now, it can be harmful to the birds if you saturate it really wet and you let the birds walk all over it. I do a light mist. I wear my respirator. I wear appropriate clothing and I keep my birds healthy. This is what's happening right here at the Red Eye Loft. And uh, as you can see, the birds look fabulous, fabulous. Now, I, knew, I know of a gentleman down in Port St. Lucie, I won't mention his name because I'm not calling people out, but he will never show you the inside of his loft. Now, for whatever reason, I believe, he probably has a very dirty loft. He will show you bits and clips of his loft. He will never show you the nest boxes completely. These are nice and dry, you know, dropping free. You don't see a bed of drop uh, droppings in there. No, I know for the, I'm not knocking that. I've done that. I've had lofts, you know, full of droppings. I, I've done it too. We're all guilty of it. I'm not saying I've never done it, but. For the most part, I try to keep my birds healthy, clean, and vibrant. And there you have it, folks. This is a pair right there. So, to the guy in Port St. Lucie, I want to see your loft. I want to see what it looks like inside. Does it look clean like this? Does it look dropping free? Or do you have mounds and mounds of droppings, like several feet of dropping? I know your style, I've seen it before. I don't think you could ever change your ways. I think you have your loft full of droppings, that's what I think. Unless you prove me wrong, show me that video, show me that loft, show me the birds like this, show me what you have, and then maybe, just maybe, I may believe you. But until then, I'm gonna call it like it is. 
But back to the original gentleman that called me. This is what I do in order to keep the birds healthy. I keep my loft clean. I keep it uh, disinfected on a regular basis. We don't want any problems. Nobody wants problems. You know, even when you're not looking for problems, it comes looking for you. But let me tell you, do your best to keep your loft clean and you will have ha healthy birds like this. Healthy birds cooing around, moving around, doing all sorts of things. Now, I will say like the one down there, he wants to perch on the floor. He's trying to make a nest down there on the floor and, and the birds keep uh, uh, pretty much dropping their, their waist on him, on his tail there. But that's okay, I can get him cleaned up. For the most part, all the ones that are perching up high, yep, they clean, 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 clean. Cock in the hen. He's ready to mate. He's bound down to the hen. Look at this guy. Beautiful. Beautiful. Pigeon jewelry. Beautiful. Look at all this in here. All right. All right. All right. Moving right along. And so there you have it, folks. To the gentleman that contacted me today. I hope this helps. I hope this video helps. I hope you see what I'm doing here. And we can all, all learn from each other. We can, we can all learn from each other and move forward. Now, some people do different things. This is what I do. I hold no secrets. Pearl Eye. Oh, you got a Pearl Eye, buddy. You're at the Red Eye Loft. That's okay. We'll keep you. Pearl Eye. Yes. Pearl Eye. Pearl Eye. Oh yeah, pearl eye. You got a red eye? Ah, slightly. Slightly. Yeah. All right, folks. And there you have it. Always keeping my coop clean. I enjoy what I do. This is a labor of love. And this is what you should be doing too. Keeping your, your loft clean, etc 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 all right fellas for all those that are watching thank you for watching thank you for watching my videos support my channel as much as i support yours and let's share some ideas let's share some some uh, pointers and let's do it all right folks enough said about that so all those that are watching, thank you. Thank you for subscribing like always. And do your thing. Do your thing. Keep your birds healthy. Keep a clean loft. These are going to town. Now I got a couple pairs already made it up. Got an egg in there. All right, folks. Until next time. I'm off this.